Uh, I, I want to talk to you a little bit about this uh, new technology that uh, you're using up there in New York, or at least getting ready to use, and where you can kind of, uh, I don't quite understand how it works, but basically uh, you can uh, point it at somebody and tell if they're carrying a weapon, I guess would be one way to put it. Right. Well, we're not quite there yet, but it's called terahertz technology. We've been looking at it for several years, looking at it with the Department of Defense and also Metropolitan uh, Police in, in London. Basically, everyone emits what they call terahertz uh, radiation, and if that radiation is blocked by something, such as a weapon, you can see the outline of it. Now, we've, we've tested it. We just received the, the latest prototype, and it's very encouraging. It's still too big for uh, deployment uh, in, in a, you know, a reasonable way, but uh, we're getting there. It's sort of like the cell phone was uh, 20 years ago. So we're encouraged by that, uh, and the British are encouraged as well. We hope to be using it uh, at least uh, experimentally in the next six months. Uh, do, you, do you foresee any problems with uh, civil liberties groups who may say this is invasive on people's privacy? Oh, sure. This is New York. <laughs> no question about it. Uh, and we're working with uh, our attorneys uh, to, to see to it that it is uh, you know, appropriately used. We understand there are uh, Fourth Amendment issues here. So we want to get everybody on board before it, it, this goes to any uh, widespread use. But it is, it is encouraging. And uh, as I, I say, uh, New York is probably the most litigious environment uh, in the world, and, and we have to be aware of that before we implement it.